Me da un dolor terrible en corazón que tu padre no puede estar aquí conmigo para que vea este gran evento que he podido venir con su hijo menor, Henry, para estar aquí y festejar la gloria de nuestra sobrevivencia, de nuestro ex éxito, de nuestro futuro, de nuestro otra vez ser humanos con la cabeza bien levantada para gloriar nuestro pedazo de de patria que es Israel y que seamos felices para siempre, siempre con cabeza arriba y con todo el orgullo de ser un judío. Amén. Where, where would my mother have come? If she, this she came platform. From Hungary. This is the platform. This one. Mm -hmm. This one. Because this platform was finished in May 44. Trains were going in the middle of the camp. Because I remember that they, we, <laughs> and why I remained in life is very, uh, really, I thank for a Polish uh, heftling who uh, came to clean the wagon. And she, I wanted not to go down from the wagon because one of the shoe of my little ch child was uh, uh, some place uh, uh, I don't know where. And I was looking and I was together with my parents. And then he, in Jewish, he spoke to my husband and told who is this woman and who is the other and what is this children. And my husband told this is my wife, that is my mother-in-law and they are are my, our two children and he told for my husband to give the two children for my mother and that I go as not uh, married as a girl and uh, uh, so they separated us my mother went down with the two children and I went down separately and so they separated me from my mother and my mother uh, uh, my f uh, husband didn't tell me why they separate me mm -hmm. he told me because because you will work and your mother will take care of the children. And I accept it as a fact. And therefore I went separate and I allowed that my mother goes with the children because I was thinking that I will work and she will take care of my children. And that was the last time that I saw my children and my mother. And my father went away and my brother with my husband and only survived my, um, my husband. From here they took my father, my brother and my husband to Munthausen. And a Munthausen in a, uh, in a uh, struggle, I don't know why, they killed my... Uh, Oh yes, they was punishing my husband and my uh, bro uh, uh, father went to, uh, uh, to take care of my husband and they uh, uh, killed him with a revolver in this minute. And then my brother ran to help my father and they killed him too. My brother was 21 years old. I forget uh, to tell you that Srulika, my nephew, the son from my Aunt Esther, who was grow up of by my parents because he had no father, they killed him this minute together with my brother Felix. Better than this time we called my brother Felix Moishi. So Srulika was murdered together with uh, uh, my father, with Felix, uh, with Maishi and with uh, and he alone. And this minute with a revolver by a Nazi in uh, cold blood. That is what my husband told me when he came back. Camp Auschwitz had two functions. It was a concentration camp and extermination camp for Jews. Extermination of the Jews was kept like secret. Auschwitz was infamous in the world. Auschwitz existed, but only like concentration camp. And about 100,000 prisoners lived in Birkenau. I'm going to show you 
two different wooden barracks in the first row. Yes, I was in a wooden barrack. Mm -hmm, that's why. But first, when I arrived, they took me to the Tsigana lager. Yeah, yeah, we will go over there. Yes. This is the sector for the gypsies live. But at first, I'm going to show you barracks, two barracks in the first row. Then we can the selection place, and then we can spend the time on the sector for gypsies. I have to tell you, Henrike, my first experience. At night, they give us a piece of bread. And I know that I, ha I am always in the morning more hungry than at night. So I, the half of the bread I eat it up and the other half I put it under my shoes and under my head in my shoes. And I wake up in the morning and I had no shoes and I had no bread. <laughs> That was my first experience to begin to be careful. And they, they don't know from where they give it me a poor, a pair of Hollandish back, uh, uh, wood shoe. And this is what I came home from the concentration camp to. Yes. What was this used for? Wash basins. Wash. Just for the wash, wash basins for the water and toilets for the prisoners. Oh, I have to tell you something what I am very ashamed and very sorry. I didn't knew that uh, I am uh, uh, to have a baby. And uh, then uh, I knew that they kill the woman who are waiting baby and one of the women, Hungarian women, was a nurse and we came here in this washroom at night and she took me out the baby and we throw the baby in the latrine and she gave it me some I don't know, trappers, like how you say it in English. And so I arrived in life. And yeah. curiously, I had no infection, I had nothing. Immediately I was on my feet, immediately I... Do you want to go to the toilet area, Mommy? Mm -hmm. That The lady said that this yeah. was a toilet, yes. Papito. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is it. Well, here is better to walk. Mm -hmm. Why would you have to walk on the snow? Mm -hmm. My name is Carolina. My name is Alicia. Oh yes, Henrika, they are the toilets. You see? And here we had to sit. And that is in one of this all you would throw in the baby. Was not a baby still, was an embryo. No, papi, to in el baño voy a decir un rezo. Este es un buen sitio de decir rezo. Sí, como es que tengo que decir esto. No sé, papi, to que que sea en paz, que me perdone mi pecado. No hay ningún pecado. Pa mamita, yo siempre he pensado que es un pecado que te he matado, pero dice mi hijo Henry que es un rabino, que no es ningún pecado porque tú me salvaste mi vida. Y por eso he podido tener otros cuatro hijos. Gracias. I speak Spanish. ¿Quieres decir un Kaddish, mami? ¿Qué? ¿Quieres decir Kaddish? Yo no sé decir el Kaddish de memoria, papito. ¿Quieres que te lo diga yo y tú repites? Ya, papito lindo. Mi mamá quiere decir la oración de los muertos. ¿Solo aquí? 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 
iskadar ve iskadar şemira bu. He forgot it. We call Hattas. I live now in Peru, mm -hmm. and I came from Peru. Mm -hmm. My son lives in New York. I went to New York, and he, uh, he keep me company mm -hmm. to come here. I am just very, very sorry that my husband was unable to come back, but he was never so strong as I was. Here is it, Pakistan. Here I can see. Here was the men camp, or here was the woman camp. I don't remember. And then other side was the woman camp. And my husband came over to me because before the war I was a relig very religious woman. And he bought me a piece of ham and a piece of bread. And he told me, go, I wish before my eyes that you eat immediately the piece of ham or the bread and you forget from this minute that this God is religious, that is something, only that you have to be always the first to go to work and forget from everything only to have a mind to survive. You have to survive and came home and you have to swarm me that you will survive. And I had to swarm before his eyes and I had to eat the ham and the bread and from this minute on I forget only everything only to survive and to have a future. The beds you can see over here. Oh, yes. Yes, now I remember. Yes, I remember. You see, Henrika, here we are sleep. Here and this barrack and this and this. I always look at to go upstairs <laughs> on the third because I don't like this somebody be <laughs> is over my head and therefore I was always on the third floor. Heating over there? What? Heating. There's oh yes, heat. I remember this. And I had to tell you, Henrik, I was so sad that sometimes we just find the woman who during the night passed away and we throw her out there on the back. 
with the back door we followed the girls took her and we threw her up and sometimes the big rats because in this time he ran around so big rats are uh, like a quarter of meter and they just eat the flesh from the bed uh, the bed woman and they were still warm when we had to throw her out. During the night they, they died, not saying a word, not even joy. This part, this part that was what the lager Elton was leaving. <sighs> she was like... <laughs> I wish not to say that she was a Nazi, but she was a very tough too. She was a Jewish woman, or two Jewish women, but they were very tough. I hope. Oh dear, I have here this. So, and now I'm going to show you platform selection place. Yes. And here, Papito, five o'clock in the morning, they blow and we had to be here outside and we had to take out our clothes sometimes. That angle to see that we are healthy or not healthy. And he came so proud, so handsome, so straight. You cannot imagine how a handsome man he was. Ooh, man. Mengele. We called him the angel of death. But how is that? I was twice selected to go to the... We'll go. No, but I wish to tell you something. Twice I was selected to, uh, to go to the gas chamber because I was not very well. And twice I ran away and I put myself in a barrack and I immediately went back to the bathroom. And I, how do you say in English? I hid. I hid back under the barrack. And so I survived. And twice was. I'm going to show you. And you know why? And once they condemned me because my husband was giving me $1,000 in a, uh, in a tube, a plastic tube, and I had it in my, uh, 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 in the back, in my body, and I was sick with the, uh, diarrhea, and I had to take out, and the bloggers didn't find it to me, and they condemned me to, uh, to death, and I ran away too. <laughs> Quiere decirle algo al grupo. Usted de dónde viene usted? De Perú. De Perú, muy bien. De dónde? Perú, peruano. Ahora soy nacionalizada, pero vengo de Hungría. Oh, de Hungría, de origen. Muy bien. De Hungría, de origen. ¿Usted quiere decir algo con mi grupo que yo puedo traducir o algo? ¿En qué año está aquí? This is a survivor from Auschwitz. I am now 85 years old. That is the first time that I came back. God help me, I had two children before when I came to Auschwitz and my mother went away with my two children. I came back from the concert. I only wanted to uh, say a condition bathroom because I was uh, waiting my third child and the lady helped me to take out the baby and we th throw her in the, be in the toilet. And uh, uh, then I came home healthy and my, I had other four sons, God bless them, and Henry is my youngest son who keep me company to come back. And that was a very, I wanted to come to the 60th anniversary, but he was very busy and alone I wanted not to come.
Very good. And so I have now the, I, I don't know, that is a will that I, we have to get the thanks God, a country, what name is Israel, our people are successful, they are working to survive, and their children are going on the right way. Okay. Yo Regent. <laughs> what? Yo Regent. Yes. <laughs> what is Regent? And uh, usted, uh, usted va a volver otra vez? Por no, ya yeah, estoy 85 años, señor. ¿Usted tenía miedo aquí durante la época? ¿Cuánto tiempo usted ha permanecido aquí durante esta época? Yo estuve, I was, I remained here in Auschwitz until uh, December, when the, uh, uh, the Russian came near. Then they took us to Ravensbrück. The women's concentration. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. and from Ravensbrück they send us to Westphalia to a, a, to a factory who made pieces for um, airplanes. And from when the American came near, they took us to Sonnenfeld. And from mm -hmm. Sonnenfeld, at night when it was bombing, they took us us. On the way to go in the other place, I don't know where they took us, the woman, and this time, I fall asleep walking. And when I wake up, I find, I find myself in a wood. And I just put myself on the floor and I don't went back to the group. <laughs> And then I went back to Leipzig. I spoke then this time perfect German because that was the second uh, language in Hungary. And uh, I presented myself in the uh, Arbeits uh, Polizei place and I told them that I am a Hungarian fugitive. And they put me in a restaurant for uh, wash washing. And so I survived. <laughs> Does it seem like a long time ago? When oh you're yes. Back, or does a souvenir come no, back? No, that is only I just um, was. Uh, my I never, never spoke about this. I understand. And my son is a little un angry because he <laughs> never knew of our past, not from his husband, not my husband, yes. not from uh, me, because I don't like very much to speak that. about. Yes. And so that is the first time that really, really I speak yes. about. My husband was taken from Auschwitz selecting to Mauthausen while he went with my father, a nephew of me, and my brother Felix. I had a brother from 21 years. They, they punish, pin, punished one day very hardly my husband, I don't know for what. My father wanted to help him and they killed him immediately there and run there my brother to help my father. They killed him there too and my nephew too because they were together the three. So in this minute they killed my father, my brother and my nephew but my husband husband remained in life. And we had our four children again. My first son's name is Felix II, is my brother. My son, second son is Alexander. My third son is Michael. And this is Henry. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Thank you so Were you actually much. in Birkenau? Were you uh, yes. or in Birkenau? I came, when I, we arrived, they put us in Tsiganer Lager. Oh, Tsiganer Lager, yes. Yes. <laughs> and from Tsiganer Lager, they put us here in one of the barrack, I didn't yeah. know in this time that is Birkenau, Auschwitz, yeah, or what that is. But uh, yes, then in December they uh, tried to throw, uh, take us out and they took us from here to Ravensbrück. Okay. And there was a, again a, a selection. Were you afraid in those days? I don't know. With survival? I don't know either, you know, you get so apathetic. Yes. <laughs> it's the same to die, to leave. I don't even was thinking. Beautiful. I know only one thing. When I came home and I find that nobody is more in life from my family, I went in the cemetery and uh, uh, to my grandfather's uh, tomb.
Mm. And I didn't know that my husband would come back mm. because I heard that he had plucky food in a Mauthausen. Yes. So, but he came home and he found me in the cemetery. Yes. And I told him that I wish to die. He says, all right, Carolina, you wish to die, I die with you. <laughs> but if we live, we can have new children, <laughs> we can have life a new on. life, mm. and we have to begin. And I saw that he is right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for that. That's very nice. Thanks for sharing your thoughts with us. Oh, don't do it, please. Gracias. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yes. Do, do you speak German? Yes. Is it from Germany? From where is it? From Thuringen. From Thuringen. Thuringen. From Thuringen. Yeah. Um, and do you know Erfurt? Also? Ecuador. Erfurt, no. Erfurt. No, where is it? Um, so from Berlin. Oh, I was in Berlin. Nicht? Ja, vor jetzt ja, war ich in Berlin. Von wo, sind, wo leben, leben Sie jetzt? Wir leben in Thüringen noch. Das ist ja? in der Mitte Deutschlands. Oh, in der Mitte Deutschlands. Ja. Ich habe sehr viel vergessen, zu sprechen Deutsch Warum ich musste zu lernen Spanisch, hm. Englisch und äh, andere, äh, andere äh, Sprachen. Hm. Ja. Aber danke, dass ich Ihnen zuhören durfte. Thank you for listening. Oh, <laughs> Ihr Name? Sebastian. Caroline. Thank you. Ich wünsche Ihnen alles Gute. Auf Wiedersehen. I hope so, because ich bin sehr alt. Women's camp would be on, on this side or the sector yes. sector for women were delivered to the camp from Hungary in 1944 was over there and <coughs> behind sector B2 was supposed to be the same sector B3 it was never finished but a part of the Jew, uh, Jewish women from Hungary were delivered on the sector for gypsies. This was this one, not this first one because it was the sector for men prisoners, but other one, next one. So the men Gypsy were over here. Uh, That's why right. maybe, maybe now I'm going to show the selection okay. place because the families were separated and we'll go straight to the sector okay. where your mother was and we can spend more time over there. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. That's why we can see here <coughs> selection place. The families were separated. It's very difficult to imagine what was happening when Jewish transport came. It's natural that at time of danger the family wanted Hello. to get there, but there they were separated. Is this in from Deutschland? Entschuldigung, dass ich unterbreche. Darf ich Sie mal ansprechen? Das ist ein Schüler von mir. Oh. Ich bin eine Lehrerin und er sagte mir, Sie haben... Ja, ich habe mit ihm gesprochen. Ich habe vergessen, ich bin schade, dass ich habe vergessen, Deutsch zu sprechen. Aber das ist doch überhaupt... <lacht> Sie, haben, Sie, haben, Sie haben... waren hier in Auschwitz? Ich bin gewesen in Auschwitz. Sie hier Ich bin eine... Ich komme von Auschwitz. 
Und von Auschwitz, ich bin nach Hause gegangen. Ich habe meinen Mann, get äh, er ist auch nach Hause gekommen. Und dann, ich habe einen Sohn gehabt, der Felix. Und von Tschechoslowakia, äh, 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 wir sind nach Prag. Von Prag, wir sind nach Peru gegangen. Und ich lebe in Peru. Und wie lange waren Sie hier in Auschwitz? Ich war von äh, between äh, 43 und 44 bis ich bin gekommen. Und in 45 ich bin ich in Leipzig äh, gefreit geworden. Gefreit worden. Ja. Und Sie waren hier in diesem Ja, ich Bau war in einem von diesen Barracken. Wenn wir sind angekommen, ich war in einem Zigeunerlager. Ich weiß nicht, wo das Zigeunerlager ist. Das Zigeunerlager war hier, hier, das war das hier drüben. Ja. 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 Und hier ich bin mit mein, mit, mein, mit einem von meinen Vorsa vier Söhnen. Und das erste Mal sind Sie heute wieder hier? In Bitte? Ausch sind Sie das erste Mal? Ja, ich bin das erste Mal hier. Ist das nicht ganz furchtbar? Ich bin sehr proud. Ich werde Ihnen etwas sagen. Ich bin wie eine, gekommen wie ein Häftling. Und heute ich bin ich eine freie Frau. Ich habe andere vor. Ich habe ver verloren hier zwei Söhne, aber ich habe heute vor Söhne. Meine Söhne haben Kinder. Und ich bin eine freie La Ich bin ich bin eine glückliche Frau. Ich bin wirklich eine glückliche Frau. Wir wünschen Ihnen alles, alles, alles Gute. Und Danke vielmals. Vielen, Vielen Dank. Dank, dass Sie die Was wird ich? Für uns Caroline ist mein ja. Name. Bettina Vogt, ich bin Geschichtslehrerin und ich bin. Oh, mit, das ist mit, sehr schön. Mit ich habe ihn kennengelernt. Ja. <lacht> First, äh, er spricht mit einem äh, deutschen Dialekt und an, an, de, äh, äh, an, 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 an Anfang. Ich habe ihn sehr verstanden. Darf ich mit meinen Schülern noch eine Aufnahme von Ihnen ja, machen? Bestimmt. Ja, bestimmt. Mit so, eine, so schönen jung, jungen Kindern. Können Sie noch mal kurz warten? Ich muss mal schnell die Nase putzen. <lacht> I don't cry. I don't cry. Ich weine nicht. Ich bin. Äh In die Mitte, hä? Nee. Ich bedanke mich vielmals. Ja, wir uns auch. Danke. Danke schön. Alles Gute für ein neues Leben. Schönen Anfang. Alles Gute. Alles Gute. Left of destroyed, what is it? Ruins of crematorium number two. And ruins of crematorium in Gothenburg number three. I'm going to show you ruins of them because crematoriums, gas chambers in Birkenau were destroyed before can liberation. Crematorium and gas chamber number two, three and five were destroyed by German soldiers in January 45. Metal parts in the ovens were dismantled, transported to Germany. Only crematorium and gas chamber number four was destroyed by prisoners themselves, by Jews who work in Sonderkommando. They organized uprising in autumn 44. And afterwards, 400 of them were gasped with cyclone. But in in front of us, uh, there was there is monument between ruins of crematorium and gas chamber number two and three. There was open monument. The monument was erected in 1967. The biggest part of the monument symbolized of crematorium chimney. The biggest stone symbolized different religion and cemetery. And I'm going to show you ruins of crematorium gas chamber number two.
Vetta me näkyy. Ai just tukaa meidät toriita. Ja. Aha. The <coughs> ruins of crematorium and gas chamber number two. And first part underground and dressing room. There is the gas chamber and the ovens, like here. Ovens where the corpses were burned. That's why this part was underground, looked like barrack, but this one in, in dressing room was underground. And now I'm going to show you rules of them. But it's not possible to go there. Where to? So these these were the crematoria here. Crematorium gas chamber number two. But uh, what was underground? Yes, I'm going to show you. And dressing room and gas chamber. Okay. No, no, I mean, see here. Mama, boy, I'll leave. But in this crematorium number two, 1,440 corpses were burned per day. The same was crematorium number three. In crematorium number four, over 700 corpses were burned per day. The same number five. About 4,000 corpses were burned in the ovens in Birkenau per day. When the crematoriums were overcrowded, corpses were burned in the forest on the human pyres in the open air. <coughs> and now I'm going to show you the ruins of crematorium and gas chamber. We'll come back here, but we'll come back here because... Yes, yeah, there I go. Dejalo no más, mami. Dejalo. No, Mira sin eso, mami. No. And I can leave this. Mm -hmm. Let's take this. We can see, we can see here the the first part underground. There was a dressing room. Entrance was over there. You can see here. Mm -hmm. And then they were going to the gas chamber. There was the second part underground. This it was had the gas chamber here. Gas chamber <coughs> over. Thousand Jews were killed in it at the same time, <coughs> and the killing lasted a few minutes. Then the special group of prisoners called Sonderkommando transported corpses by lift on the ground floor. There the gold teeth were extracted, the rings, earrings were taken off, the hair was cut off, and corpses were burned into five ovens. And burning two corpses in one retort lasted about 30 or 40 minutes. Each crematorium was isolated, surrounded by the barbed wire. On the entrance door were inscriptions, bath, disinfection, shower imitations were built in the gas chamber of crematorium number two and three. <coughs> Behind barbed wire, door sewage, mm -hmm. door finish in 1943, connected with toilets. Zonder commando, they were usually Jews. They were isolated from the rest of the camp. They were killed from time to time so that no news about extermination of the people could be sent outside the camp. And it happened once that members of Zonder Commando found a girl alive in the gas chamber. She was covered with other corpses, that's why she survived. She was delivered to the camp from Transylvania. It was a very big problem for Moosfeld, for boss of crematorium. He said that young girl would tell other prisoners what she had seen. She was killed by SS guards. <laughs> Before camp liberation, crematorium gas chamber number two, three and five were destroyed by German soldiers. Ovens were and the gas chamber were blew up. That's why you can see this ruins of the Where is Siron Kadish, Mami? Come on. Where is Siron Kadish? Yeah, Papito. Ela é 
میرم کا بخواست و شیر آسان تیف بخواست و بخواست و بخواست و میرم بیا مکیم و هم بگیم یه شبه میشونم از بخواهیم تایی ما دینه و خوری سوره بگیم و بگیم رومه سه شبه بگیم و بگیم و سه شبه بگیم و بگیم و بگیم و بگیم و بگیم و بگیم When the ovens were overcrowded, corpses were burned in the forest on the human pyres in the open air. Corpses were put between wood, they were poured with methanol. Smoke of pyre was visible several kilometers from here. Mm -hmm. Polish people living outside were evicted. Next to the camp there were organized munition factories, clothing factory, later factory, where the prisoners worked. It was so-called industry part. But Polish people living about 10 kilometers from here knew about extermination of the Jews. They tried to send information about it to Krakow, to London, to America. The Allies knew about mass killing of the Jews in Auschwitz. They said after the war that bombing crematoriums and gas chambers could be any military aim. Auschwitz wasn't military object. <laughs> And, and now, nobody was doing nothing. All right. Jews. Yes, I see Hungarian Jews. Children from Hungary. During a few months, May, September 44, about 400,000 Jews from Hungary were delivered to the camp. At that time, the camp was overcrowded. Look how strong building this was. Main entrance to the crematorium number three, but for German soldiers. Mm -hmm. the entrance for people was over, over there when the man is standing. This is the, to the entrance to the crematorium. Mm -hmm. This one. There. Mm -hmm. It's white people. De diga un disco de papi taqui. Este era los dios húngaros. Sí. Daba disco de arche, me era bo, me dijo que usted era mi hijo, que usted era mi hijo, no vi más con mi hijo, que usted era 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 mi hijo, que usted And the Polish chief people allowed everything what the German wanted to do, to do. Yeah. In January, just a moment please, just let's stop this. In January 32, there was conference in Wannsee in Berlin. 
And the Nazis planned extermination of about 11 million of European Jews. That's why after conference in Van Zee, the mass Jewish transports were delivered to Auschwitz, because Auschwitz was center of Europe, an important junction. During Second War, about 6 million Jews were killed. In Auschwitz, over a million. That's why Auschwitz is infamous in world, like symbol of the Holocaust. But Auschwitz, it is important place for Polish people, for Russian, for Gypsies too. The Nazis planned extermination of about 11 million of European Jews. They planned the killing of Slavon people, Gypsies, because they said that Aryan race was the best race in the world. Aryan race, what does it mean? They were the people who had blonde hair and blue eyes. The Nazis created historical myth that they were the best people in the world and they wanted to live in occupied Europe. And it was the reason the Jews were killed on account of the race prejudice. It was the main reason. Your mother was properly registered over there and then he was put on the sector where the gypsies lived because the gypsies were liquidated earlier. That's why this sector was empty. Mm -hmm. and, and now we are going to see this place. Okay. But they the toilets, killed all the gypsies. Toilets is over there. If you want to have break. No, 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 no not yet. Inicialmente no dijiste ese nombre, Gypsy Lager. ¿Cómo? Cuando primero venimos, me dijiste que te, estuviste en otro lager, ¿no? No, en Gypsy Lager. It was called. Gypsy Lager. Sector was called like Gypsy Camp, Gypsy Lager. But the Gypsies were delivered to the camp uh, Birkenau in February 43. They lived here 17 months. Then the gypsy camp was liquidated. It was September, on the 2nd September 44. That's where there were barracks. Afterwards, where the Jewish women from Hungary were put. That's why they were, the women from Hungary were put on the sector called gypsy camp. Mm. What was this? This one, there was the sewage system, but it was built during Second War, never finished. This one existed. It was very primitive sewage system on the land. Ah, yeah. <laughs>
this moment because the umbrella is here. Yeah. yeah, that was the wash house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Papito, I remember. You remember? Yes. Picture you can see here, Yes, I remember Schaefer. They brought you here to, to take to the, the water came from there. We had to uh, leave on the door all our clothes. We had to come and uh, next here and we were there out and one place they cut our hair, one place they infect, disinfected us and they give it us halfling dresses. What kind of dresses? Halfling, uh, prisoner dresses. Yes, I remember. I remember. This picture in front of us was taken by a German soldier in 1944. A registration for newcomers. The special group of the prisoners was employed over there. Newcomers had to leave everything what they brought with themselves. Each prisoner got number. Yes, that is I remember. Mm -hmm. We can go around. I remember, Papito, I remember. I remember now. And the water will come from here from the roof, I mean. Yes, Papito Lindo. When we came out from, uh, uh, they selected us. The young people on one side who work for go for work and the other side with the other people. And the young people who come, we were came in here, they uh, take out all the dresses and giving us uh, uh, dresses from the camp and only they left out the shoe. And then the first night or the second night, I don't remember which night, they stole my shoe with my piece of bread. Your mother didn't make it? No, my mother went with my children and they that were killed on the same day. But your brother came? Please. My brother was uh, taken to work. My father, my father was 50 and something years old. And little Srulika, because Srulika was leaving with us, he had no father, and he was the son of a sister of my father, and uh, and my father Charlie, my husband uh, Felix, Maishi, and Srulika were uh, separated. Yes, I know I remember. I forget that. Here was the, you see Papitolindo, the luggages and everything they take it here. Umbrella. Never. Private things. Yes, I see it. They took out even if you had a gold tooth, Henrique. If you have a gold, gold tooth, they took it out the tooth from you. Mm -hmm. the, on the right side, you can see this infection place. The clothing, shoes, blankets were disinfected by hot air. How perfectly they made everything. 
incredible how perfect was it. And he disinfected the clothing. How organized they made it. Take a picture from his tooth handicap or from all of this. In the next room, the hair was cut off in this place. I was not tattooed. No, Mamita. I was not yeah, sending. Yeah, because the Jewish women uh, from Hungary were not tattooed. Yes. Because a lot of them, after selection, were sent to work to Germany. Yes. That's why they were not tattooed, but they were registered here. So. Yeah. Shower in the uh, shower. Showers were built, like you can see in this picture over there. But the water was too hot or ice cold. And afterwards, in the next room, the, the priest, the newcomers, mm -hmm. awaited. I used to read this too. A few hours for clothing, and then they were sent to work. Showers. <laughs> yes, so was it, Papito. No soap, no towel, no nothing. You can see here private pictures belong to the Jews who were delivered to the Camp Auschwitz. Pictures are bigger for visitors. You can see here prisoners. They wanted to live, they had private life. Prisoners of the Camp Auschwitz, they were killed in Birkenau. They were killed because they were Jews. It's new exhibition. This exhibition was opened a few years ago. Private pictures belong to the Jews. Make a picture, Papito, from this too. Yeah, from the whole world. Beautiful people. No, mami, está linda. Vamos? Yeah, no más me voy a filmar. I wish to say. Maybe you want to Give me a pencil, Henrique. I wish that you sign to Henrique. Okay. Cassano.
this, this one, this one. I was not able to express myself so beautifully as you do it, Enrique. No Here? Yeah. We go out where? Out here. Here. Oh, but they just moved. Enrique Lindo, I wish to tell you something. I wish to go back to Hungary. It's one o'clock. Take the time that we can f have the flight. Yeah, well, we have time. So another yes, we but only time. make the time, Papito, because I really wish to go. What? He said that he was going to destroy you. Yes, Papito, but I didn't know, Papito, that it's so cruel. I didn't imagine that it would be so difficult. I was thinking that it's over. But now I see that this for me not over. And I wish not to cry and not to be sad. I wish to be glad. Crematorium gas chamber. Number four, and this crematorium was destroyed by prisoners themselves. By, by prisoners? Jews who work in Zonder Commando. They organized a rising in autumn 44. I didn't know this. Yeah, in, it was autumn 44, October 44. Crematorium gas chamber. I burn. was still here in October. But it was burned by, by prisoners who work in Zonder Commando. They organized a rising. And afterwards, 400 of them were killed by German soldiers. But it was very important because the crematorium, this gas chamber, was destroyed by prisoners themselves, by Jews who were in Zonder Commando. I wish to read that. This crematorium. And the dressing room is over there in the middle of the main building. Gas chamber in the first part. And the ovens. One oven, eight retorts. Eight retorts. Retort it is the place where two corpses were burned at the same time. <laughs> Look at this. They were so brave. Mm -hmm. And we can go here a few meters. Yes, my dear. To see the they were really brave people. God be with them. What is written here? Only I wish to read. I came here.
450 heroic mm -hmm. persons who took part in the result were murdered by the SS. <laughs> Surely they were brave people. Mm -hmm. Oh, they were brave people. No, I cannot because Oh, they were really brave people. How beautiful brave people that were. next to Auschwitz one, but this one plays church. On on the right side, on the right side, there was the lake where ashes were dropped. That's the very important place in Birkenau. Ashes, the, the ovens, the corpses were burned in the ovens and the ashes were dropped into rivers. Ashes were dropped on the fields next to Birkenau and there is the special place for it. Mm -hmm. like the lake where ashes were dropped. Mm -hmm. When the dressing room in crematorium was overcrowded, women had to take off the clothes in the forest just here, and then they were going straight to the dust chamber. Look at that. That's today. This is a forest. Never, 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 in esta tiempo no me ac in this time I had no time what time how much time I was where and what I only know that in December on the beginning of December they took it all together who are strong they took to uh, Ravensbrück and who was uh, uh, not so strong immediately created that here still. On the left side, there was sector B3. The sector was called like Mexico. There were the Jewish women from Hungary over there. There were a few barracks where they lived. It was very primitive. They lived in very primitive conditions. That's why sector B3 was called in the camp jargon like Mexico. Because um, the women from Hungary uh, were naked, they had blankets, they look like poncho, that's why they they were called by other prisoners like Mexico. Mm -hmm. The first barracks on the left. Yes. Administration office. Kitchen, two, two kitchens yeah. on the next to entrance door. Mm -hmm. What kind of food did you have here, Mom? And see the 
wash washroom the last barrack on the right toilets wash basins You see, handicapped for I was not tattooed. He says too, yeah. because we are selected to send to Germany uh, mm -hmm. for it's work, to work. Mm -hmm. and we were uh, not introduced here in uh, Auschwitz. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, that is what he says. Mm -hmm. I didn't know why I am was not uh, uh, tattooed. What kind of food did they give you to eat here, man? Nothing. A water, a, a, a warm water for, uh, uh, I don't know from what was made, it, for breakfast and a bread. And this bread had to be f for the whole day. And at noon time they was giving us a soup and no bread. Yes. And at night time, I don't remember that was a, a coffee or was a soup. I don't remember more. Mm -hmm. But I know that, that I had a soup every day. And I was so clever that I was always the first to be, be in, group, uh, uh, in a group and I had my supper. And I drink out hurry hurry the supper and I went in the last group and I stand there for a second time. <laughs> survived. Sometime I was lucky, sometime was not more soup. But sometime when I was lucky, was a soup, a second soup for me too. So I continue. continue. Sixty thousand prisoners were evacuated to work to Germany, but evacuation was the death march because the German trains were needed by German army. That's why the prisoners were had to go on foot, sometimes thirty or forty kilometers. This uh, evacuation was called like death march. Yes, my mother was Because it was in the January, death march. very cold, and temperature was so about 20, sometimes 20 centigrade below zero. That's why a lot of people died during evacuation. The sector where the gypsies lived in 1943, but in 1944, May 44, the women from Hungary were isolated here. Did you live on this sector and do you did you work outside? Um, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. Because, uh, the women lived here, they were isolated but a few months before can liberation it was October forty four a part of the women from Auschwitz, from, from Birkenau, and the same Jewish women from Hungary were moved to Auschwitz, but, but they didn't live in Auschwitz one, but next to Auschwitz one. There were a few barracks isolated from the rest, and there, there were the women who were employed by, uh, by building um, parts uh, or pits uh, for air planes. But it was it was very late. It was October, November forty-four. About eight hundred prisoners tried to escape from the camp, 
and most of them escaped outside when they work on the fields, when they were employed in different factories. 300 of them were recognized by German soldiers. After coming to the camp, some of them were shot at the death or they were hanged or put in the standing cells. But it's difficult to say how many prisoners escaped successful because the fate of some of them is unknown. We have documents that 144 prisoners escaped successful. Yeah, but they the had to speak as Polish. Because who was not speaking some Polish was impossible. It was better because they had contact with Polish people yes. outside. You, you told me that you were once uh, going to be hanged. Oh yes, I told you that I have thousand dollar with me, and uh, they find that the uh, students as they find it mm -hmm. and give it Jewish. over for. Mm -hmm. no, no, that was a Jewish woman. I recognized her in Najvarad. You, uh, you told you once. Say it again. <laughs> I forget how uh, how it. I saw you in Na her in Najvarad, and I was screaming. I don't know why. That is not my nature. But I was screaming. He is my murderer. He is my murderer. <laughs> And they wanted to hang me, and was two men before me, and uh, went over a, a, a police, a, a, soy, a, 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 Deu a Deutscher office, I don't know who. And he looked at me and he told uh, for the, uh, who was taking care of her, let her go, let him go back. Last her Zivek, and I went back in a, a, a in the other lager. Mm -hmm. I was not even thinking that I will die or not. Only I was thinking I am so hungry. <laughs> I was really hungry. I feel until today how hungry I was there. Yeah, that was. Uh, yes, I remember Henry now that I saw her in Najvarat. And I was so upset, I don't know, I saw her near the Jewish big temple. I was coming with, I don't know with whom. You were with my father. What? You were with Papi. I was with my husband. I don't remember exactly how that was. So. Jewish children coming to the camp were killed at once, and over 200,000 Jewish children were gassed. They had nothing to do with the camp. The flowers were next to crematorium and gas chamber because the newcomers were going slowly, without panic, to death. But in Birkenau there was no gas. Because some survivors read in their memories that they try to, to eat the grass. I eat, not the grass, I eat caracoles, how you say this? Snails. The snails. We went, when we went out and we find the snail, we eat it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you remember Barak? Where did you live? No, it's time. But it was the sector. The, the Jewish women from Hungary lived here. I and tell you too. were going over there. The platform was over there, but there was no entrance to the to the platform. Entrance for people was was only here. That's why the prisoners on the sector could observe platform, trains, and collection. You don't believe what. Yeah. I, I wanted so, so my whole force to forget everything mm -hmm. that I uh, until they were big uh, big boys and they heard about the concentration camp. I never, never spoke to them that I was in a concentration camp, that I suffered, that I had children, or that I what happened. I never spoke with my past. I just wanted to have the future and to go forward. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes the time is there. 
Yes, it was not as I, not because I was shamed. Perhaps I was shamed. I don't know what was, but now German I can people. speak about. Right. But in this time when I was young and I had my new children and I had the new life and I was mm. beginning in Peru, I wanted not that they know that I am from mm. concentration camp. It's very sad. Commandant of us with respect to the you know? Stay a minute. Yeah. Rudolf Huss, the first commandant of the camp, uh, escaped after the war to Germany. He had pseudonym Franz Lang. He was recognized by English officer. He was passed to Polish government. And after trial in Warsaw, Rudolf Huss was hanged in 1947. Next commandant, Art Liebeheschel, was hanged in 1946. It was after trial in Krakow. But the third commandant, Richard Bear, was recognized very late. He was put in the prison, but because he was sick, he came back home. About 7,000 German soldiers stood on duty in Auschwitz. After the war, only thousands of them were trial. A part of them, a part of them got capital punishment. Some of them still live in Germany, United States, Argentina. In this by parade of the same. Ah yes. Latrine. Perhaps here was where I lose my baby. How long do you want to spend in Poland? How many days? I wish to go now. What I have to hear? Nothing happens I have here. Not that I have happiness in Hungary, I, don't, I have not happiness in Hungary either. But I wish to go from Budapest to the city from where I came. Mm -hmm. And then my son wished to go to the city where his father lived. Mm -hmm. That is now Romania. But from Budapest it is not far to go over the frontier. And from there, we take in Budapest the car and we we'll go with the car. And from there, we we'll go f to my city. And from my city, we we'll go to uh, my husband's city. We came back to Budapest. And from here, my son has to go to Turkey. And we we'll leave to Turkey. I go with him to Turkey. And from Turkey, I go back to New York, to him, and from there I go back to Peru. Mm -hmm.
I would think that most people in the camp knew what was going on. Some, some prisoners, some maybe most of them, thought about uprising in the camp. And they can in the, the people wanted not to know. But the Polish people, Polish soldiers, Polish officers, because they were arrested here, they thought about uprising, Polish partisans outside. It could be uprising, but we thought good successful. 100,000 people lived in Birkenau, and the question is, question was where those people could go outside, but, but were in the forest and the food for them, for 100,000 people. It was not so easy to organize it. That's why in the, a lot of them could be shot by German soldiers. German soldiers were not only killed. Silesia was about 30 kilometers from here. That's why they could be killed by German soldiers. And I'm saying that the, in, the, the prisoners themselves must have known about the crematoria. They, they knew. knew. They knew about it. They knew. They knew packed it to there. and the new transport were going everywhere. Stand a little. I am tired. You sent out the mummy to you? No. No, I wish not. No, see, I wish not. <laughs> I wish not. That is written that they put up the ashes there. Yes, the ashes. And take a, take a few stones and put that there. I, wish to, I cannot walk until that. Okay. Esta fotografía que estoy aquí enfrente a mí me acuerda que cuando hemos llegado también había una banda de músicos que nos ha recibido y también cuando hemos ido al, al, al crematorio, cuando la gente estuve llevado para el crematorio, también había una banda de música para engañarles que no, no van a morir, no más van para trabajo. En vez de trabajo a pobres personas que estuve sobre 35 o 40 años, a esta ya le estuve condenado para la muerte. Fueron judíos los... Eh... Todos judíos son no judíos, así, pero en general 90% fueron judíos. ¿Qué tipo de música juega? Clásico, sí, hijito mío. En general, música clásica alemana. Pero estuvieron grandes músicos entre los judíos que han, que, que han traído aquí en Estados Unidos. Había violinistas buenos, flotistas buenos. Fueron de los mejores. Y de todos estos flojeres, estos asesinos han eh, escogieron el, el mejor para dar pase para ir a la muerte. Pero en el en Birkenau, nosotros no hemos vivido así en casas con piedra y eran nomás barracas. Aquí todavía están con casa. ¿Qué 
¿Te acuerdas de esos rojos, mami, cuando te hacían parar y llamaban? Sí, por eso te digo, papito lindo. Y cuando tenían mala uh, ganas de vernos desnudos, hemos tenido que estar desnudos y así estar es, uh, celapel. Y todavía los soldados uh, uh, alemanes andaban entre nosotros riéndose de nuestra uh, vergüenza porque había mujeres que han puesto la mano sobre el pecho o sobre el delantero y se rieron de ellos y han hecho lo jalaron de la mano que tienen que estar recto, no tapándose. Sí me acuerdo papito de las horas que hemos tenido aquí parar. Vamos por aquí papito lindo. Ven lindo. Yo me acuerdo ahora poco a poco de todo. Mi deseo cuando he salido ahí, me liberé y comencé una vida nueva. Era tan grande que no he querido hablar ni siquiera de Auschwitz, ni siquiera del pasado, ni siquiera de mis padres o mi familia, de nadie. Quería vivir una vida nueva y que comienzo de nuevo. Pero ahora, cuando ya estoy para terminar mi vida, Verdaderamente quiero dar mi tributo para todos estos gente que se estuvieron sacrificados solamente por un solo pecado que han nacido por judíos. Porque son gente decente, gente trabajadora el judío, gente caritativo. Con todo, todos los buenos están bendecidos de Dios el judío. ¿Cuánta gente de tu...? De mi familia, solamente de más, más cercanos de mi familia. Estoy enciendo, encendiendo tres velas, pero nadie no quedó en vida. Llegué a la casa, me he ido donde el cementerio y he dicho a mi abuelo, ¿por qué tengo que vivir yo? Todos han muerto, ¿qué soy yo más especial que ellos fueron? Pero cuando mi esposo me ha dicho que hay dos chances, o te mueres si yo me muero contigo, pero ahí terminó todo y Hitler ya tiene con dos personas menos y feliz en la vida, o comienzas una nueva vida y tienes nuevos hijos. Y Dios ahora me bendeció con 14 nietos judíos y seis, siete nietos, bisnietos judíos. Y todavía un hijo mío, el más joven, es un rabino, como debe que ser. ¿Quién es el triunfador? No, yo soy el triunfador, yo soy. Ellos son los perdedores, pero yo no, yo no soy perdedor. That is from Hungary to aquí es el railroad y así nos hemos hecho el chalapel. ¿Quién se va para la derecha y quién se va para la izquierda? Ahí estuvimos ayer, ¿no? Sí. ¿Cuánta gente tú crees que estuvieron en el punto 3? Papito, no más de nos varas de han quitado 150 mil personas. ¿A la misma vez? ¿Cómo? ¿A la misma vez? A la misma vez, papito. Como animales nos han matado, metido adentro en vagones de animales y nosotros hemos entrado como idiotas. Húngaros, húngaros, papito. No alemanes, festinca no húngaros. ¿Qué tú reconociste? Yo no lo reconocí a nadie, no, no sabía dónde estoy.
A los húngaros mismos te pusieron en los barrios. Sí, esto, fueron los mismos asesinos como los alemanes. No había ninguna diferencia. Todavía peor. Pobre tu no hemos tenido agua. Y pobre tu padre ha puesto afuera en esta deja de arriba porque ha llovido para que le entre un poco de agua para dar al zúrico a beber porque lloraba y un uh, uh, húngaro asesino uh, de afuera con su bayoneta lo ha uh, uh, echado un hueco en la mano. ¿Cuánto tiempo estuviste en el tren? No me acuerdo, papito. Tres días, cuatro días. No me acuerdo, hijito. ¿Había comida? No había nada, hijito. Mía. Hemos tenido que hacer ahí mismo el pipí, el cacá, comer, dormir, sentar, todo en el suelo. No había nada, Shaina Dinga. Hemos, estuvimos peor que... Mira los judíos. Ahí está el vagón y cómo sale. Mira estos niños chicos. Con sus estrellas amarillas. ¿Tú también tuviste estrellas Sí, papito. Sí, he tenido. Zulika también. Shimshala también. Y todavía la música ha sonado, ¿Te acuerdas de esa música? Sí, ahora me acuerdo que he visto la fotografía. Antes no te hubiera podido ir. After the selection, look how that just looked empty. After the selection, the Birkenau was 44 looked only uh, empty. Solamente con los murderer alemanes parados aquí. ¿Los guardianes en el campo fueron alemanes o fueron Sí, los... alemanes fueron. No me acuerdo, para mí fueron lo mismo. No me acuerdo, hijo. Pero sé que fueron alemanes. Todos hablaron alemán, hijo. Mira. ¿Y qué han hecho con esta pelo? Han hecho ropa, mami, para los alemanes, para los... Eh... Para los, eh... Así como lo sacan el pelo de los animales para poder hacer tejido, sí. así han hecho con el pelo humano. Así, no me digas. Estos son todos los pelos. Bueno, no todo. Eh. Es, eh, todo un cuarto Parte. Lleno. Imagínate que un cuarto lleno de pelo todavía ha quedado aquí. Míralo, todavía, aquí todavía. Alguien, si me lo contar, van a, voy a contar, no me van a creer que es posible. Mira, hasta ahí, ahí arriba está lleno de pelo. Míralo, todavía aquí de pelo. Increíble, increíble. Increíble, 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 increíble. Si no lo hubiera visto, no lo puedo creer que esta puede existir. Que esta podría existir. ¿Qué dice allá? Como empaquetaron el pelo. Después de la liberación han encontrado todos estos paquetes de pelo. 
Imagínate cuánto han tenido que tener que también después de la muerte todavía ha podido quedar después de liberación. Ya ni siquiera voy a hablar más alemán, ya no me interesa. Mira, esta se ha hecho, esta tela está hecha del pelo humano. Imagínate, para forrar uh, muebles han hecho. Yo creo que es para vestirse muy bien. Para vestirse, sí. porque aquí han enseñado tela, enrollado. Sí, de ahí hicieron. Uh -huh. Mira, hasta cepillos se han puesto separado. Toma fotografías de los cepillos. Ya, vamos. Peines. Tome la fotografía de los peines, papito. ¿Has tomado? Sí. Ya, papito. ¿Y aquí qué es esta? A él no, no se pío. Estos son zapatillas. Estos son los vestidos. A la derecha. ¿Qué es esta? Ollas. ¿Para qué necesitaban estas ollas viejas? Yo que la gente no trae lo que para mí, Para poder cocinar se van a estar bien. Vamos por aquí afuera. Penas artificiales. Pobre gente, como lo han traído. Mira las piernas enteras. Y después que me han robado mi zapato, he decidido esta zapata. Esta de allá. ¿Cómo? Así el zapato estuviste. Sí, con esta zapato he llegado de regreso. Porque me robaron mi zapato. Y ese es el tipo de, de vestido que no se sí, Las mujeres se hemos usado esta. Nowe, 
Yo tenía 35 kilos cuando he liberado. Toma foto de esta, papito monumento. Se llama Starvation. Mira el alemán, qué gordo es. Mira cómo le sale la barriga. Pero me dicen que el campo judío también fue malo. ¿Cómo? Me dices que el campo judío también fue malo. Sí. Así está el alter el Stalin, ¿ves? Era judía. Y andaba con dos bastones, sí. ¿Dos bastones? Sí. ¿Dos bastones? Dos bastones. ¿Aquí también te pegaban? Sí. Te conté que esta es la comida de la mañana. ¿Qué te da un, ca un vaso de agua, de café, que ellos llamaron café. y el gran alemán con el bastón. Y aquí era la banda de música, ¿ves? Y así lo llevaron al crematorio, con banda de música. Esta fotografía, lo papito, porque así era en realidad. Si te recetera mola sopa, sopa ya no has comido nada. La noche así hemos dormido, ¿ves? Y aquí están los zapatos que después te he recibido. ¿Te acuerdas que te dije que me robaron mi zapato? Y así era el zapato que he tenido. Me parece, hijito, que yo estuve en Auschwitz porque me acuerdo que aquí querían ahor ahorcarme. De aquí, es, es, aquí me han dicho que me dejan libre porque aquí ha pasado el alemán oficial que me ha visto ahí parado. Y cuando me han sentenciado para morir, no, quería, no tenía miedo de morir, solamente que tenía mucho hambre y he pensado de dónde podría sacar un pedazo de pan para que no me muero con hambre. ¿Dónde estuviste parada? Ahí abajo de la horca. Sí, hijito. ¿Cómo? No quiero ir subir. Ahí abajo. Y aquí nada más puedo. Ya quieres, ya me voy por allá.
Y a veces ahí me han hecho subir, ahí estaba el orca, y solamente por mil dólares. ¿Estuviste parada justo allá? Sí, y ahí me han dejado salir. ¿Debajo de, de la orca? Sí. Aquí ha pasado la... un alemán, me miró y me ha dicho, déjalo salir. ¿Y estuviste por ser ahorcada? Sí, pero yo quedé a comer un pedazo de pan. ¿Aquí nomás? Aquí nomás. ¿En este sitio? En este sitio, así que estuve en Auschwitz. Ya ves que estuve, yo te digo que estuve. Nomás que no me acuerdo. Ya vámonos. Ya ves que existe también donde me querían ahorcar. Y por mil dólares nomás. Cada uno nos ha llevado mil dólares. Mi mamá llevó mil dólares, mi papá llevó, Charlie llevó, Maishi llevó, yo llevé. No más los bebés no han llevado. Thank you.